Hello everybody, I'm Miss Laselli and I'm a youth librarian at the Headquarters Library in downtown Gainesville. I miss seeing your faces at the library so much, but just because we're at home doesn't mean we can't have some fun. Today I'm going to teach you an easy craft that's good for the whole family. I'll be teaching you Orizo Megami. Orizo Megami is the Japanese name for a kind of paper folding and dyeing that's done in lots of places around the world. Uh, usually you need special paper and special dyes to do this craft, but today I'm going to show you how to do it with stuff you have lying around the house. So you only need a few things for this project. The first thing you're going to need is blank paper. This is just regular white printer paper. You're also going to need some water, just from the tap is fine. You're going to need some food coloring. This one I have here is just your regular grocery store food color, but pretty much anything will work. These are gel food colors. You could use fabric coloring. Anything like that that you can dilute in water will work. You're also going to need some containers to mix your colors in. I like to use a muffin tray because it keeps the mess kind of contained, but really you can use anything you want. Little bowls, mason jars, whatever you have around the house. And the last thing you're gonna need is something to mix your colors with. So I like to take a grilling skewer and cut it in half so I can have a different little stick for each color. And that's all you need. So the first thing we're gonna do is fold our paper. Now generally, the more folds your paper has, the cooler it's gonna look at the end, but you really wanna be creative with this part. However you want to fold it, it's going to look pretty cool in the end. But for right now, I'm going to show you two basic folds that you can do. So to start off with these basic ways of folding the paper, you're going to take your paper and set it out horizontally or the long way. And then you're going to fold it as if you were folding a fan or an accordion. You're going to lift one side, maybe about an inch. Then you're going to fold it down. Then you're going to flip your paper over about the same amount you're going to fold over the other way and then you're going to start making this sort of fan fold. You're going to keep doing that all the way until you've got your paper fully folded. See how it kind of looks like a fan or an accordion? Now the next step for this type is you're going to take it here and you're going to fold a little end of your paper up so you kind of make a little square right there on the end. And then you're gonna do an accordion fold with that square. So you're gonna flip your paper over, fold the square up again. And don't worry, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna look cool no matter if it's a little imperfect. So just try your best. And you're gonna keep folding that one just like that until at the end, you've got a whole little square and the whole thing is an accordion. The second way to fold this, we start off the same way with our accordion fold long ways, but then instead of folding it into a square, you're gonna to wanna to fold it into a triangle. So you kind of lift up one edge and do it diagonally like this. So you get a little triangle there in the corner. And then you're just going to flip your paper over and you're going to do the same thing. Fold it over so you're getting a little triangle. If you keep flipping, once you've got it at the end, you're going to have a similar thing to our square one, but instead of folding it up into a square, it folds up into a little triangle. Now this one's a little harder, so you might want to ask your parents for help. But it's a pretty easy way and you're going to get some cool results doing it this way. So now what we're going to do is get our colors ready and our work area all set to go. So you're going to want to have a towel with you. Um, you can use a regular old towel or paper towels. Just something to put down to get any extra color that might fall. Um, the food coloring can get on your hands and stain it, but it comes off with soap and water so you don't really have to worry about that. Now you can see I've already mixed up some of my colors. I'm gonna use the four colors that came in the box, which are red, blue, green, and yellow. But you can also mix the colors to make other colors, 
a lot of the time that information is on the box but for example i mixed red and yellow to make orange and red and blue to make purple as well and just to show you how i did this it's real easy again you can use any container you like but with the muffin tin it doesn't take a whole lot of water you basically just want to fill up the bottom so that it's all covered and then you take whatever ink you're using again i'm just using regular food coloring and put it into your containers um, depending how much ink you want is how dark or light the color is going to be so just do it to your taste and again i've got my little skewers which i use to mix up the color just to make sure that the color is spread throughout your ink and that's how you set up your colors so now we're ready for the fun part which is going to be actually dyeing our papers so you're going to want to take your papers that we folded up for example here's our square and you're going to want to dip them into the inks so this one i'm going to do in orange and blue so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your paper your little square and on one side you're going to want to dip it down into the color of your choice and you're going to see the color sort of run up the side of the paper just like that and you're going to want to sort of tap it make sure you got the excess drips off and then you're going to turn it over in your hand and you're going to dip the other end into your other color which in this case is blue and again you're going to see your color sort of run up the paper and you're going to see that this one is orange and blue now you're going to want to set that aside now you can dip these in three colors or four colors however you like to do it for example i like to use a triangle and do three different colors and the way i do that is i might dip one corner into red and you'll see the red go up the paper and i might dip another color into our purple dye and you'll see the purple start to soak up and then you can flip it around and dip your other color maybe into green your other corner and you'll see the dye start to run up the paper just like that and then you've got your papers dipped so now that we've got all our papers dyed we're going to want to unfold our paper now for this part because the paper is wet it can tear a little easily so you'll want to do this carefully and for those of you who are a little younger, you might want to get some help from a grown-up or an older sibling. So you're just going to carefully take your papers that you dyed and you're going to unfold them. And again, you want to do this kind of gently because the paper can tear. And you're going to undo all of your folds. So you're going to carefully open up your paper all your accordion folds and you're going to start seeing a really cool design and i like to do this on a paper towel or on a towel because if there's any little extra water that's going to come off your paper that way it's not going to get onto your furniture or your table it'll just get onto the towel and so there's one of our papers unfolded. So this was our triangle one that we drip, dipped in three different colors. And you can see how cool that looks. Let's open up one of our square ones. So again, just be kind of gentle. This one we dipped in orange and green. And again, just be very careful so that you don't rip your papers. If it rips a little, it's not a big deal. But you do want to try to get the whole thing undone. And again, you can start to see how this one looks different because this one was just two colors. And it was also the one that we folded into a square instead of a triangle. And then just be as gentle as you can. This one's a little bit more wet than the other one, so it's a little harder to unfold. But we're still getting there. But see, now you can see. 
a very cool pattern on that one as well. So once you've got them all carefully unfolded, you're gonna just wanna set them to dry. And they'll dry pretty quick, but you're still gonna wanna probably set them aside for like an hour to let them dry. All right, guys, so that was our craft for today, our Orizomagami dyeing of paper. Here are some examples of what your papers look like when they're all dried up. This one was actually a square that I dipped in four different colors. So you can see how cool that kind of looks. And like again, here are the other ones that we did. These are all dry and they're very cool. And so these obviously look cool just like this. You could write on them, use them as notes to friends, or you can do other stuff with them. I cut this one up kind of like you would do a snowflake or a sun catcher. And you could hang this up in your window or in your room and it's gonna look really cool. There's also lots of other things you can do with them. Actually, if you head over to our links on our webpage, you're gonna get a link to Creative Bug. And if you search for some videos in there, you can learn all sorts of things that you can do with your new cool papers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cool craft and I hope you guys try it at home and have a good day.